Now with your storm team weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Josh Johns. Looked a little hazy out today, Josh. What's up with that? You know, just a little hazy. We ha had a pretty sunny day out there. Temperatures were in the 50s when we started off the afternoon. But watch what happens when we went towards sunset. This is looking off to the west from downtown San Angelo. And, I mean, we have these sunsets where it's crystal clear. And, you know, it's you can just see forever. In this case, though, it kind of looked like kind of what it looked like last time we had that Sahara dust in the area. That's actually... Believe it or not, some smoke that came in from California, and here's why it came in. Of course, we had all those wildfires out there towards California. You've seen on the news all day a horrible situation, but the winds just above that, where it pulls the smoke, actually pulled it into our area as we went through the day. Even up towards New York, they had to deal with this type of stuff there towards sunset. And of course, as we went on through the night tonight, it's been a crystal clear night thanks to some drier air working in. That same dry air is going to kind of bring an end to the smoke. You can see it here on the water vapor at least momentarily, it kind of got stuck in this pocket of drier air that went all the way towards New York. That's pushing down to the south, and so tomorrow I don't think we'll have near of a hazy sunset as we did tonight. And also this drier air that's pushing in is going to make for a chilly night. It's actually kind of a uh, kind of a front that's in the higher levels of the atmosphere is going to cool us off just a little bit more. A quick chance of rain before your Thanksgiving, which should be pretty nice, and then a cool pattern will be coming on back. Today, we topped out with temperatures in the mid-50s, climbed up to 56 degrees, should be at 67. Low this morning was 41. We're going to be colder than that tonight. 86 was your record, and 24 also the record set back when we landed on the moon, 1969. 36 degrees right now in San Angeles, 33 currently in Amarillo, 53 in Austin. This is some of that drier air working down. That's why the temperatures have cooled off a little quicker. 39 right now in Fort McCabot and 43 in Ozona. Those winds kind of out of the north right now, although pretty variable, kind of calm, and that means those temperatures are going to be going down to the dew point, and with that drier air working in, those dew points going to be getting closer towards freezing. Right now, we're sitting with a dew point of 33 in San Angelo. So when you wake up in the morning, going to be pretty cold. You may have some patchy frost at times. You may need to dig out the ice scraper a little bit on your car. 31 in Eden, 29 tomorrow morning in Arizona, 31 here in San Angelo, and 29 in Sterling City. But we rebound up into the upper 50s, lower 60s tomorrow. Still a little bit on the cool side, so if you're sensitive to the cool, you may want to grab a little bit of a jacket when you leave the house tomorrow, at least for the morning for sure, because it's going to be downright chilly in the morning. You can see what's left of that dry air working down to the south. That's going to keep pushing through overnight, kind of clearing us out, although the state it's pretty clear right now as you look at the satellite and radar imagery. Just a little bit of rain off the coast over to the southeast of Houston. We've got high pressure settling in, and that means nice weather for a few days. But we're tracking a little bit of a weak system that's going to try to move through, maybe impact some of your travel forecasts for Thanksgiving. So Tuesday, we're in the 50s and the 60s. Look what happens as we go into Wednesday. A little bit of a weak system moving through, giving us a light chance of rain uh, Wednesday, mainly off to the east of San Angeles. So if you're traveling towards Austin, Houston, you may have to deal with that just a little bit. Nothing that's going to be severe. Nothing that's going to cause a ton of issues. You just mean, need the windshield wipers. Thursday's pretty cloudy. And then Friday, got a weak system that's going to come in again. Maybe a little bit of rain Friday morning if you're traveling from Dallas or towards Dallas or from Dallas. Rather, may have to deal with a little bit of that. But Friday during the day looks to be a crystal clear day across most of the state. Saturday's not bad either. Sunday, we got to watch for some snow up towards the panhandle. So if you're traveling, you may want to travel Saturday and not Sunday if your plans take you towards or from the panhandle back to the Concho Valley. But tonight, no issues, just going to be a little bit on the cold side. Down to about 31, clear and cold, with winds out of the north at 0 to 3 miles per hour. For your Tuesday, climbing up to about 61, mainly sunny, still a little bit cool. Wind's going to be out of the north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And as you take a look at that extended forecast, you're going to see those temperatures warming up into the 60s for Thanksgiving. 65 Thursday, 20% chance of rain Wednesday. Maybe some rain Friday morning, but then we're watching another front that comes in Saturday. Going to cool us down from 75 to 57 on Sunday. Maybe a light freeze by the time we get into Monday and a cooler pattern settling on in as we start off next week. We'll be right back.